नमस्कार एंड जय हिंद वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग दी फिफ्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ इंडिया इंडिपेंडेंस दिस ईयर दी सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स हैव बीन एन अमेजिंग जर्नी ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ग्रोथ एवोल्यूशन एज मच एज ऑफ डिफाइनिंग द सेंस ऑफ इंडिया इंडिया रोज एज अ ट्रू डेमोक्रेसी एंड एज ओनली मेच्योर्ड इन दीज सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स वी आर द लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी इन द वर्ल्ड एंड वेन इंडिया स्पीक्स द वर्ल्ड लिसन्स टूडे इंडिया इज रिकग्नाइज एज द स्ट्रॉगेस्ट डेमोक्रेटिक नेशन and as a rising power in the world india represents a nation by the people for the people and of the people in the true sense of the word on this 75th anniversary let's hear from our fellow citizens what india do they want to see in the next 25 years 25 years from now i want to see my country with a very strong defense force every citizen of the country should be prosperous happy full of zeal and enthusiasm the country should have no any infight on the ground of religion caste and creed everyone should be productively and joyously engaged in the kind of work that he or she is supposed to do at the same time i want the educational quality of my country to be of very higher level because the world is giving importance to any country which is very very good in knowledge economy india is forging its way ahead among the top countries it has assumed sixth position in terms of economic development in terms of academic development and i want this country to flourish without any fetters or without any kind of restriction let every citizen of the country make the greatest possible contribution this india that we will see 25 years from now will be india of our pride and satisfaction thank you have a wonderful day 15th august 2022 75 years of our independence what will 15th august 2047 100 years of our independence look like what is my view of the dawn of 15th august 2047 greetings my friends i am commander chakrapani or chaks and this is my vision my vision is of an politically stable india an economically vibrant india an india where poverty is a thing of the past where jobs are plenty and people find jobs as per their need and as per their qualities and capabilities an india which is emotionally connected connected to itself to its history to its geography to its people to its culture an india which is undivided by various man made norms norms of religion of caste of gender of region or any other basis a india where there is true equality men women step out as equals in every way where there is no reservation of any kind on any grounds on any pretext and in india where we are all one indians not divided by language region or as i said earlier caste and community and in india where the woman is respected and the man is truly worth calling maryada push into that dawn of freedom into that dawn of prosperity into that dawn of true secularism my lord let my india awake on the 15th august 2047 jai hind namaste and congratulations on india's 75th independence day myself dr gnaneshwar mure wanting to share my views quickly on what kind of india i would like to see in the next 25 years first i'd like to tell you five things that i do not wish to see 
during the next 25 years. Number one, no poverty. We must eliminate poverty. Number two, no hunger. We should also eliminate hunger completely. Number three, no damage to the environment. Number four, no violations of human rights. And number five, no social conflicts. Can we avoid this in the next 25 years? And what I would like to see in the next 25 years, here are those five things. Number one, everyone in India, everyone in India to be literate. Number two, quality politics at all levels, all the times. Number three is India becoming hub for education, technology and ideas for the world. Number four is moving from GDP to gross happiness index. And number five is India with all its civilization wisdom to become the Vishwa Guru. So congratulations and let's work to make India of our dreams. Thank you. I am Colonel Arun. I am from Ahmed Co. I would like to see India after 25 years as a developed nation. And I would like India to see part of the P5. Maybe we will be the P6. And like to be at par with all these developed countries today that we have USA, Britain and whatever. We have done hell of a lot in the last 75 years and I am sure the next 25 years we are going to be a superpower in this world. Hi everyone, I am Anupama Saini, I am wife of an army person. 25 years onwards, as I see India and visualize it, I think India is going to be a superpower like China and US. It is going to be a developed nation. It is going to grow so much in stature, be it financially, economically, as well as uh, spiritually. So it is going to become closer to the other countries of the world also. At the same time, it will create more job opportunities because of so much of advancements in all fields, be it technology, medicine, sports, you name the field and India will be there. So uh, I feel corruption will also reduce in the next 25 years and uh, people standard of living will definitely improve as India is going to grow very strong economically. That is how I visualize India 25 years onwards. India do I want to see in the next 25 years? I want to see an India that is famous all over the world for its peace, its harmony, for having no crimes at all, especially against women. I feel our country should be totally free, safe for women. I want to see just the employment uh, rate going up and the unemployment vanishing from our country. I want to see India prospering in every possible way, be it cleanliness, be it its um, employment, be it um, GDP, whatever you name it, and our country should be on top. And uh, I would also want that, uh, you know, we rise above religions, we rise above all other uh, factors that divide us. And uh, we are just one, like India. When you say Indians, we are all together. And the only thing that we want in life is for our country to prosper. And uh, I would really like that our opposition uh, works for our country, not for just bringing down the leaders, whoever they are in the ruling party, but everybody just works for our country, not for their personal growth, for their personal interests, but for India, a country which is famous all over the world. I just want our country to be on top and everybody wanting to come to our country because of its beauty, for its culture, for its humaneness. That's all. I wish we have that country, that India one day. Hi, I am Anirudh from Delhi. Uh, it's great that we have achieved 75 uh, five years of independence, but a lot more needs to be done. So next 25 years, may, I would like to see India uh, developing more uh, on the human uh, resources front 
and uh, infrastructural front as well as having more of civic discipline which we lack which we lack in abundance i think compared to west and uh, say uh, considering the past jo bhi raha hai indian uh, uh, culture pe usme bhi public discipline aur civic obedience hoti thi jo shayad hum logo mein ab lacking hai ya aur kam hoti ja rahi hai and tolerance ek dusre ke prati bhi kam hoti ja rahi hai which i would really like to see improve isse kya hoga ki ek uh, combined effort se hum log progress kar payenge on all fronts shanti rahegi to sab theek rahega progress sab rahega thank you hello and good morning this is parthara choudhury i'm an nri i have business interests in international recruitment and international higher education in dubai in london and now in riga latvia about where i want to see india in next 25 years well i would like to happily close down both my businesses and work the other way around because i want to see india become a global superpower where people come not just to gain knowledge but also wealth like india was a sone ki chidiya and had huge global universities like nalanda that is where i would like to see india in 25 years time congratulations to all my countrymen across the world on this occasion jai hind jai bharat my name is kapil shalini sri uh, next 20 years next 25 years i want my india free from religious bias a country where humanity a country where religious freedom a country where we love each other as human beings a country with compassion a country where there is no poverty where education is given utmost importance and the biggest thing is that we all love each other just as human beings and we don't fall into the play of caste creed and religion remember our country has always been called a secular country i live with it i am by by it and all the soldiers were given our, their life for this nation for them we have to be united so in next 25 years i see my india that one india which we love it on this 75th year of independence i really really pray to god that please make my india the best place why should we say be like america i want next 25 years everybody should say be like india become an indian be proud to be an indian namaste i am colonel ram athavle i am a proud soldier of the indian armed forces india is a large country a vast country it has had a rich and glorious heritage our cultural roots are very strong but i don't want to harp on our past glories i want to see india achieve those glories in my lifetime for our future generations i want my india to be a model in the world i am very proud of india not just because i served in the armed forces but because i see a vibrant democracy which is growing every day i want my india to be a clean safe and secure nation i want people to lead healthy lifestyles i want them to enjoy i want them to be happy i want industries to flourish i want infrastructure to be developed i want my country to be a model for the world i want my next generations to come and settle here and work in india happily and willingly an india where everyone should be proud of an india which is atmanirbhar an india which can look after itself in times of crisis an india which can prove to the world yes it can be done that is the india which i am looking for i love my india I'm sure you do too. Jai Hind.